Today's Mass for the soul of Virginia Ferrão. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate worthily the holy sacrifice of the Mass, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite. You came to call sinners. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have received from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. My heart recoils within me. A reading from the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, when Israel was a child, I loved him. And out of Egypt, I called my son. The more they were called, the more they went away. They kept sacrificing to the Baals and burning offerings to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up by their arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of kindness and with bands of love. And I became to them as one who eases the yoke on their jaws. And I bent down to them and fed them. My heart recoils within me. My compassion grows warmer and tender. I will not execute my burning anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim. For I am God and not a man, the Holy One in your midst, and I will not come in wrath. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let your response be, let your face shine on us, Lord, and we shall be saved. Kindly repeat, let your face shine on us, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. Enthroned on the cherubim, shine forth. Rouse up your might and come to save us. Your response, let, Let your face shine on us, Lord, and we shall be saved. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see. Visit this wine and protect it, the wine your right hand has planted. The Son of Man you have claimed for yourself. Your response? Let, Let your, your face shine on us, Lord, and, and we shall be saved. Kindly stand for the acclamation. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. God has spoken to his people. Hallelujah. And his words are words of wisdom. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to your Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Proclaim as you go, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. You received without paying, give without payment. Acquire no gold or silver or copper for your belts, no bag for your journey, or two tunics or sandals or a staff, for the laborer deserves his food. And whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it and stay there until you depart. As you enter the house, greet it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. And if anyone will not receive you or listen to your words, shake off the dust from your feet when you leave that house or town. Truly, I say to you, it will be more bearable on that day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the striking note in today's first reading is God's love for the people of Israel. Immense love, unconditional love. And now for all of us, for each one of us, for the entire humanity. The prophet Hosea uses beautiful expressions to convey this point. Namely, God says, I called you as my child. 
I loved you as my son. I fed you. I held your hand and taught you to walk. The same way we have experienced during our childhood. Our mother taught us to walk. Our grandmother taught us prayers. Our mother fed us with food, nourishing food. This is God who does the same things in much better way for us. And he says, God says, I hold no grudge. I hold no anger. I am all compassion, all mercy. In spite of the fact that the people of Israel went away from God, they sacrificed to Baals, they worship idols, they sin, and yet this God loves us. He loved them, he loved us. He said, I will not, I will not destroy you. In our present uh, circumstances, during these COVID times, which are afflicting all of us, God has not abandoned us. And he will not do so because his love is all around us. We are en enveloped by his love. But what is our response? As the people of Israel went away from God, he felt it, no doubt. What is our response? Are we coming closer and closer to God, particularly during these times? Acknowledging our nothingness, our limitedness. I think we need to make a, an exercise of self-introspection. That will throw light on our lifestyle, that we need to change, will help us to reach out to others, not to be selfish, seeking our vested interests, our own needs, but we have to work for others. And this point is stressed by Jesus in the gospel. He empowered the apostles, go out, I'll give you the power, heal them, cleanse them, and proclaim to them, the kingdom of God is near. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us be grateful to God's love for us. sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. 
May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so, it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we to extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit. You give life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sapa was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body 
one is spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis Apo, and Philip Neri Ferrao, our bishop, and the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into, into temptation, but, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Takes away the sins of the world. 
happy are you who are called to his supper lord i am not worthy that you should come under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed Just make an act of spiritual communion and experience the Lord within our hearts. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
This is the day, this is the day. 